Within the world of assessing, technology has made huge advances in terms of the assessor's role. Nowadays, assessments can, of course, be done remotely. Okay, an assessor can uh, observe pre-recording uh, material um, and also review evidence um, that has taken perhaps miles away at a different center or location as well. So the advances in technology has made the assessor's role a lot more flexible. Okay, in terms of uh, criteria 8.2, we are going to explain the contribution that technology can make to the assessment process. We have uh, four key factors that we would like for you to explain. Okay, we have um, e portfolios, uh, recorded evidence, uh, video evidence, and finally online testing as well. So, for this criteria, very much like for you to explain each one and do have a look at the textbook pages provided. Our first key term is e portfolios, otherwise known as electronic portfolios. Um, these are fantastic methods, okay, uh, for your learners to, to generate and upload evidence to an online system. So rather than paper based folders, portfolios, uh, which are perhaps sent through the post to the assessor to marking, they can speed up the process. They can, of course, be transferred uh, via email, Dropbox, uh, perhaps even a pen drive as well. Okay, and information can be updated uh, quickly. Um, they can, of course, be even transferred perhaps from a mobile phone as well. And it allows for the assessor to turn around, perhaps marking the review process a lot quicker. So there's lots of advantages there when uh, using e-portfolios. The next key term is recorded um, evidence as well. OK, so once again, recorded evidence is where a recording of an assessment um, can be sent uh, to an assessor to review. So once again, um, the assessor doesn't have to be present at the time. OK, they can uh, review recorded evidence, they can write up an observation report in their own time and perhaps factor in um, a phone call uh, with the learner, OK, um, to give some feedback as well. So without um, the assessor being present there, we can record the evidence uh, for a review with an assessor, either over the phone, over perhaps Zoom or Skype as well. Finally, we have uh, video evidence, okay? Um, so this is using mobile phones, uh, it could be videos, uh, cameras, uh, tablets, to record evidence uh, whilst you're watching uh, an assessment. So once again, these are fantastic tools for promoting, of course, validity, reliability, standardization. It shows to awarding bodies that the assessment did took place. Of course, fantastic uh, for, for that fact as well, for someone's perhaps evidence portfolio. And of course, it promotes authenticity as well. Finally, we have online testing. Okay, so once again, instead of paper-based testing, we can use computers, uh, which do generate multiple choice uh, uh, questions. These are often randomized. And finally, they do give the learners um, often automatic results as well. So rather than uh, assess a marking, perhaps some um, online tests, okay, paper-based tests, it's computer generated and uh, renders um, the, the results automatically. Um, so these tests, they can of course be used for both initial and diagnostic uh, testing in some uh, courses and careers. But all of these technologies are fantastic within the assessment process. For this criteria, we'd like for you just to explain each one. Do have a look at the textbook uh, pages, okay? And we'd like for you to describe each role. Of course, if you use them within your current uh, assessing role, do mention how each of them is used as well.